there guys, today we're back once again to dive deep into the depths of HO scale history to find a piece you probably either didn't know existed or have long since forgotten about. Today we have on deck the Walther's HO scale jail box. Yes, you heard right. Not a rail box, a jail box. So just like the peanut one in the previous video, this too is a graduate of the Walther's tongue and cheek line. Now for those who've never heard of this, this was a fun little kit line they came up with in the late 70s. It had things like an impact test car, the jail box, the peanut one, and even a kit where you could turn an actual tank car into a beer can tank car by utilizing beer cans at the time. But today we're going to take a look at the jail box and see what exactly locks this one in the place of HO skill history. Now this is a car you can't normally find. I've had to search for about three years to find one and finally Facebook was a godsend and I was able to locate one. But the premise was, you know, being the ton in cheek line, they're going to have some fun. And I'll zoom in the logo so you can read. So on the left side, we have the spin on the rail box logo with the jail box. And beneath that it says, specially equipped for transporting visitors who can't keep their cotton picking hands off the equipment. When full, return to federal prison via service route. On the other side of the bars, we have the good look, which I appreciate this pun, the next time any crime, if they don't shape up, ship them out. So this is a fun little car, and if you can find it, keyword if you can find it, it's a neat little piece to assemble, and really at the end of the day, this is nothing more than a blue box, 40 foot box car with a few modifications in the shell, like for the jail bars, the door, the smokestack on top. Under the hood, it's the exact same as a blue box 40 footer with a little more weight. So what exactly makes this car exclusive or hard to find? The main thing being, most people just don't retail these. When you do see one pop up on eBay, it goes from anywhere in the ballpark of $50, and yes, that's 50 bucks for Again, a blue box box car. <laughs> but the main thing being, much like Lionel O gauge cars and some HO of the time, it's something fun, it's something different. I mean, you don't see a car like this, and you couldn't get away with this in today's climate, much less. Um, you just don't see this out. The only place I've seen this is in the basement of the Colorado Railroad Museum on their club layout down there. That's the only place I've publicly seen a jailbox box car on display. With a brief overview out of the way, we're going to pull a little jailbreak and see what makes this car tick. So I'll start with a high view and work our way back down. You see on this side, you've got a die cast metal jail bar there. You've got the bunk and you've got a toilet. No crappy details are missed here. So in the middle here, we've got one door open so you can look inside. you got the bars, you got a guy chilling on the right. And on the left, we see an unfortunate soul who probably touched the trains and counted one too many rivets. The former police caught up to him. Poor dude. And on the left, we have a pot belly stove. Up on the roof a little bit, you'll see some wires. Previous owner had designed bulbs. I've tried resoldering the trucks with no... I've tried resoldering the truck pickups with no luck. So I'm going to play with that a little bit more and see what we can get. So there you have it guys, a quick overview of another piece of obscure HO scale history, the Walther's HO scale jail box. So thank you guys for watching, I hope this was informative, you may have learned something you didn't know or something you've long since forgotten about. So without further ado, we're going to crank some Thin Lizzy, slam the doors, and ship these guys out. Until next time.